Um. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out really what we're supposed to do and in what order. Because, um. We have the book. And that's all well and good. The book is good to have. Trapper Dan's thing. However. I. I, we, I know for a fact we are missing an item. We had previously made a breakthrough. Yes, the breakthrough was opening up the pyramid. We had the, the Bill sauna sequence. There's an item that we need, and I don't know where to find it. Hold on. When was the last Isis maze thing we did? Uh, we did the pig. And we got the pig token for it. Okay. And then what did we do with that? <laughs> we totally played <laughs> fox and geese with it. Yeah. And then we put it into the door, and now we need three more. The moose, the raccoon, and the wolf. Okay. You know, when in doubt, we gotta ask people some stuff. No one will have anything to say to you. Except well, maybe aren't you a negative, Nancy? Uh. So the door's over here. No. How is that possible? You messed up on the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where Trapper Dan's needle is. I just wanted, yeah. Want, okay. This is not the way out. I know. I just wanted to look at the door. We're gonna go look at the door! Yippee! And there could be the thing that I'm thinking of that we need might actually be in Julius McQuaid's cabin, but I can't guarantee that. I don't even the know what- The same animals Trapper Dan mentioned in his journal when it came to getting into his needle without the key. I'll bet that's what's behind this wall. A room below the needle. There you go, Next Nancy. Next thing I have to do is get each of these panels open. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. One more screen. Like, take one step that way. Now turn around. See, can you click on that? No, I guess not. I thought that was the thing we were missing. Next thing I have to do is get each okay, of these yes. panels open. Okay. So to do that, you gotta go through the maze, but the maze won't open because there are little levers in the way. Yes, Jameson. Mm. Wait, I, okay. I thought, I think it's in the lodge what we need. We need to be, like, looking around for... Don't you remember I did that thing with the raccoon painting and its eyes started glowing? Yep. You could go back and try. Take a left. Well, where's the where's the part that corresponds with the raccoon? It's somewhere in the lodge. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We gotta go to the okay, lodge. Okay, I think I know where it is, actually. So, back to the lodge we go. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Man, is it crazy to think that when we started this display, the Shibuya incident was still going? It's true. <laughs> Okay, so, sure. real quick, tur turn around. Is there any strange and unseen items in here? Check the floor, maybe. We have thoroughly checked this floor before. Okay, I think what we want is back at the lodge. Walk to the PNG. Isn't it so nice that Ollie Randall is going to do the rest of the cooking for us? He is the goat for that. Ah, warm, warm again. again. Alright, so, you were referring to the raccoon thing, right? Yes, see... So, cool, cool. His Look eye, at him. His eyes glow. That means you've activated the puzzle. Now you just need to find a raccoon. Find a raccoon? Yeah, there's one in the lodge. I'll okay. help you out. It's on the second floor. As in this floor? Yeah. The one in the painting? <laughs> no, it's a real life, I think oh. it's a taxidermy raccoon. It's in a room, I bet. Or maybe I'm mistaken. Take a look at the moose. Oh, oh! Found it. Okay, that actually, Something tells me this radio to. belongs to Yanni. And if so, why is he hiding it? Just push out his eyes and find the surprise, is what the, the journal said about the moose. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the hell is this? It's a radio so he can spy on his competitors. Okay. We should go ask him about it. Moose token. So moose. now we have to play more fox and geese. Yeah. Hell yeah. What is that? That looks like a rodent. That's a varmint of some description. Well, what's the description? Rodent. <laughs> I don't know where the raccoon is, your heart desires. Okay, well, maybe I was actually thinking of the moose, so I don't know where it is either. <laughs> we'll find Let's, it. okay, you know what? Take a look at the book. Let's see what he says about the raccoon. Pull up Trapper Dan's needle. Journal. About the needle. Here we go, here we go. It's this thing! Yeah, well, yes, and you've done that. So, the fire necklace will tell you 
all you need to do to open up the s- the s- <laughs> sly the sly raccoon's hiding place. Okay, now here we go. Just don't wake up any lodgers. Okay. Oh, so it's got to be done at night? No, I think he's just... Maybe. Could be part of it. We've already arranged that the correct way. For certain. Well, I'm confused what else, then. Well, hang on. Maybe we haven't done that the right way. But the raccoon's eyes are lit. You're right. We have done it the right way. Let me just have a pass at this. So... Why are your eyes glowing green? Sir? Whoa, you could grab something. The nose! Oh my god, we are the biggest idiots. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Okay, okay, so the nose is the hitbox. That's a sneaky hitbox, her interactive. I'm gonna deduct points for that what's one. what's left? What's left, my dear brother, is to play two ingruciating games of Fox and Goose. No, there's a huh? third thing we oh. need. Okay, there is another. Now what? But we well, have to do this sorry anyhow. to bother you. Why did you do that? You wanna talk? You know where to find me. Wait. I couldn't decide between excruciating and insufferable, so I just said ingruciating. What is this? Uh, probably nothing. I'm on to him. Okay, you know what? There is... I'll tell you what we can do. Um, well, for one thing, the only token we have left is the wolf. The clue for the wolf token is as follows. Yeah. Push out its <laughs> eyes and find the surprise. Just push out his eyes and take the surprise. Alright, uh, this should be the wolf. The wolf is the trickiest of to find because it's only the likes of Mary Curie and Mis or Mr. Geiger can hear his call. So Mercury and Geiger counters? Yes. You should go to the basement, see if we can talk to Yanni about that radio. And then we should play Fox and Geese. And then we should find a freaking Geiger counter somewhere. I don't know where it is. What you need? Not Yanni. I'd better get back upstairs. By the way, you dumped the laundry bag before all the rooms were cleaned, so I put it back up at the front desk. Nobody cares. You, sir, are a liar. How about Yanni, though? How can I help you? Oh, this seems intrusive. Yeah. Why do you have a radio hidden away He found away the hiding place. How do you know about that? All I know is when I got done... Cleaning the moose head, mm -hmm. that compartment was open. She pushed out the and eyes and found the surprise. It, there was the radio. Now you answer my question. I use that radio to communicate with my coaches. It's a special radio. It scrambles the signal so that my competitors cannot listen in. How did you know? How, ask what him how makes he... you so sure that your competitors are in the area? When one has enemies, it's prudent to assume that they are always close by. Yeah. They are <laughs> Sigma here, grind quotes. Make no mistake. What I don't know is... Did you really open that compartment by mistake, or were you up to something else? How do I know you are not working for them? If I was working for the competition, why would I have told you about finding your radio? Who else have you told about the radio? No one. I believe you, Nancy. So if I find out you're lying, uh -oh. both of us will be very sorry. See if you can still ask us. Hmm. The secret compartment that's in your room, how did you ever find it? The first night I was here, I searched for bugs. Something which, due to the cunning of my competitors, I have become very good at. I discovered that by pushing on the moose eye, I take the surprise. Up. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Well, it's interesting that he left the token. I don't know. Or he, he had to have known about it. Yeah. Alright, are we going to do fox and geese now? Or do we, we want to get all three games out of the way once we find the wolf token? Okay, well, I don't know where to find this Geiger counter. I I have a feeling it's in one of the rooms. Lose? I almost feel like... I could totally be wrong about this. Jimmy, we've tried to open these drawers for six episodes now. Here's Nancy's luggage. Hi, Nancy's luggage. I can't even interact with it. That's lame. What's your favorite book? My favorite book. What is the worst book you've ever had to read for school, Julian? Ooh, what an interesting question. I, I have an answer, I think. I really did not like Gathering Blue. I, I just retained none of that book. It was the shitty Lois Lowry book that was like a 
prequel to The Giver or something, which I also was not a fan of. Uh, I like The Giver. You know, I'm going to open up this discussion to the floor. Comment down below what the worst thing was you guys had to read, too. I can't think if the worst one was what, what it would have been. I Did you like Fahrenheit 451? Yeah, that was an alright book. I did not like Catcher in the Rye. I, I loved Catcher I, in the Rye. I really well, liked reading Catcher in the Rye because I thought that it was going to be coming towards something really cool. Holden Caulfield is one of my favorite fictional characters. He's literally me. <laughs> but no. Shut up. Well, he no. is, oh, He's awesome. Okay, well... He had such a great struggle. I liked... Okay, part of the reason I didn't like Catcher in the Rye is because I kept on interpreting things differently, and Mrs. Ruby got pissed at me for it. Well, you need to just look at it at face value, and it's a good book. You look at it at face value, and it's a book about a kid who just runs away from his perfectly fine middle-class life because he's bored. It was not perfectly fine. Ah, it's, it's, the, it's the everyman struggle, I suppose. Anyways, I have no idea what to do. No, I didn't hate Catcher in the Rye. I just was expecting a lot more by the end. I kept on waiting for something to happen. Just a hater. What about 1984? I have never had to read that. Really? Yeah, because I, I left school early. <laughs> I did not end up reading. That is a book I would like to read, just because like everyone always cites it as a meme, and I feel like I should know about it. You don't know about it? Well, I, I know about it, but like as much as everyone else does, since it's infinitely talked about. Okay, well, I don't know where the Skyger counter is, so maybe uh, we should play Fox and Geese. Maybe call Chantal. We haven't called people in a while. Chantal is, is kind of like the progression phone contact in this game. Maybe even Tino. I remember you telling me that you had to read an exceptionally boring old Norse book for Mr. Pasco's class. It was like hardly English. I can't remember its name. <laughs> it's something I, I, horse. Hello? I Hi, Chantal. It's Nancy again. So, have you cracked the case, as Tino likes to say? Still working on it. Oh. My problem is I can't remember the names of the bad book because they just weren't memorable. Do you have any idea what would make Bill Kessler think that your father cheated Tilly Wentworth when he bought Icicle Creek oh, Lodge what, from her? What, a... what does Bill Kessler know about it? Apparently she was his grandmother. Rules! That was the book okay, I did not like. what happened. Apparently Tilly Wentworth got addicted to the Shop at Home channel and couldn't stop buying <laughs> things. And pretty soon she was in debt up to her eyeballs. So finally... Totally desperate, she went to my father and offered to sell the lodge to him for just enough money to pay off her creditors. But there was one stipulation, that my father never tell her family the real reason she was selling. The real Why reason not? was she was watching she the... She was embarrassed. She didn't want her children and grandchildren to discover that she mm. squandered their inheritance. So my Yikes. father bought the lodge from her, and as it turns out, she passed away soon afterwards. My father kept his word and never said anything to her family. Even when they started saying that he'd somehow forced her to sell the lodge to him at a ridiculously low price. It seems a bit wow, far-fetched. Wow, Bill Kessler has no idea. Well, unfortunately, it's gotta stay that way, so don't tell him. It's what his grandmother wanted. I would tell him. He has a right to not You'll hear from to me notice. again later. Don't mm. let me down, okay? Yeah, and I don't like Chantal, so I will try to tell him. Mm. Mm. We could also try t Tino, at least. I'm giving up on Tino. I don't think he has anything of value for us. <sighs> maybe, maybe we have to do the two fox and geese things first. Huh? Might as well. Oh, now what? How about another game of fox and geese? All right. Now you're talking. Do you remember how I did this last time? Seat. Ready? Uh, I'm gonna replace the fox with my pig again. No, not oh, with the pig. I think I came up with the strategy, right? Like, I'm going just... to replace the fox with my pig again. Go right ahead. Wait, why the pig? Not the pig. No, Nancy. You have... Quit. Don't we have new items? Oh, wait. Huh? Oh, I thought the pig now was in what? the door. How about another game of Fox and Geese? It is. Now we're talking. <laughs> have a seat. Ready? What? I'm going to replace the fox with my pig again. Go right ahead. Dude, this is starting to feel a little sussy. <laughs> I... I have my doubts <laughs> on the validity. <laughs> Wait, yeah, don't we need to use the other tokens? We do. We very much do. Do we need to do it all in one sitting or something? What are you, what's the strategy here, Jamie? You're I'm not... waiting for the, the computer to decide to take the bait, and I think he's about to. <laughs> oh, you mean go forward? Yeah. 
God, he won't do it. This is just madness. Take the tasty bait. Take the, take the wonderful Christmas treats. Take the goose, tiny Tim. Okay, Jamie, it's not gonna work. It's gonna work. Okay. No, we're gonna be that's, here all day. That's why this puzzle sucks. Is that it's RNG. Okay. And everyone knows it. Now he's just taunting me. <laughs> Jameson, this is maddening. How do you think I feel? I'm the one doing it. Worse to watch it. <laughs> I am giving you a triple double right now, Bill Kessler. Your MMR is going through the floor. <laughs> Okay, this is so infuriating. Over? Okay, if we start over. Okay, if we start over. What are you doing? That's it. We found two tokens. We're going to go put them in the door under Julius McQuaid's cabin just to see if something happens. Because I swear you have to play with each of these tokens individually. I don't... I just don't rightly understand. Well, yeah, because playing with them individually unlocks the, the path for the wolf to take, mm -hmm. Jamie. <laughs> That's my point, is that he's using the- she's using the pig token over and over. Why are we using the pig token, Nancy? <laughs> Snowshoes. Jamie, quit searching spoilers. I'm not. Fox and geese tokens won't work. Okay. What did you Next get? thing I have to do is get each of these panels open. I'm confused. Okay. Um. So. We do use the pig token. Even though that doesn't make sense because it's right there. Yeah. And we do have to trap it in Each the of moose's the four corner. Zones. Yes, no, except for the wolf. We don't have to do the wolf zone because the wolf's door is open. So, we can go back now and suffer knowing we're doing the right thing. Oh, and that wasn't a spoiler because I still have to do fox and geese. <laughs> I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for a Geiger counter while I'm out here. <laughs> okay. I almost. I almost want to go th like through the screens out in the snow to see if we missed a Geiger counter laying in the snow. I would not miss such a thing. Yo, really, you would not? No, sir. You would not miss a Geiger counter? Jamie, this is futile. My efforts are futile? Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Very well. Fox and geese. Fox and geese. Have you? Did you see the uh, the Clone Hero update? I did a stream on it. Mm -hmm. I was playing Guitar Hero, but with the Nancy Drew soundtracks, and it was so. Oh, funny. I did see that in my subscription feed. It was so cool. And I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> you should check it out though. It's it's really neat. Ah! That looks like a Geiger counter. What? what? A weird thing to be chewing. <laughs> we have uh, what? That was just placed there a minute ago. <laughs> That's not possible. This is sabotage. <laughs> That's literally not possible. This measures radioactivity. I wonder if Isis found it outside somewhere or in here. Oh I... wait, wait. Try clicking on it. That's now we it. can go find radioactivity. So this is like a new HUD. Yep. Wait, why are we... So this wolf token's gonna be radioactive? Yeah. You're gonna need the lurks <laughs> of Mary Curie or Mr. Geiger to find out where it is. Wait, this is gonna kill us. Yeah, it will. Right? What, what about it? Let's just find out just what is radioactive in the lodge. Because <laughs> this place is probably not safe to be hosting people. Yeah, what, what if it's like off the charts in the kitchen? <laughs> it's all the mercury in the salmon. <laughs> what a bullshit Geiger counter spawn. I yeah. think that, that probably shows up after the sauna, is what happens. Dude, it sure as hell wasn't there at the beginning. I, I thoroughly sniffed every particle of the floor. Yeah. I feel warmer already. Alright, now we, where's the cancer? Just go in any direction? Yeah, but I think it's supposed to be in the lodge. Oh, it's really? Yeah. I thought it would be outside. Wait, there's radioactivity in the lodge? Already. Yeah, we should probably report this to uh, the authorities. <laughs> the moose is radioactive? He's off the charts! Wait, okay, I'm confused. 
first. Find out where it's the strongest. Is there anywhere that's higher than 13? 13.8. We hit 13.8. The other moose glows too. It's because it's the same kind of glowing rock in the moose's eye that's in the mines. So is there anything else that glow that's radioactive that's not visible? Dude, we're getting hot here. Radioactive hot. <laughs> there was a guy in the bathroom who was really hot. <laughs> okay. Bro, this is hurting me. It's so hot. What if I- 14.8! This screen is more radioactive then. Son of a bitch, you're getting muted. No, no, you're, you're so close to it. You have to find what's causing it. It's clearly not the moose if the moose goes down. Let me check, is there anything upstairs? Or downstairs. Yeah, there could be stuff in the- Maybe it's something in the basement that's just radiating through the floor. <laughs> the foundation wait, of wait, the wait. lodge oh, is screwed. Oh, snoring, was it? Yes, it was in the oh basement. Oh my god. Well, you don't know that. Okay, he's out of the lethal radiation zone. All right, we'll look for it. It's whatever How do it is. How know it's in the basement? Because it's still radiating down here. Well, it could be because it's residual from upstairs. We're still not seeing screens like we saw. Yeah, it's it was strong. No, upstairs. no, no, no. Take take a look. Go to the stairs to the cellar. No, the other way. No, no, behind you, there's Moon Lake Cellar Stairs. 23? We're gonna die! Oh my god, this Let's is... see, do I really want to go outside without a coat? I don't think so. Oh my god, Nancy! We're gonna die! It's got uranium in its eyes, oh my god. Okay, and now it's gone. So now, the radiation is totally gone. It's a safe zone. Alright. Oh, that's right, because because the moose's eyes are still glowing. That stuff is also radioactive. That was fun. All right, that was my favorite part of this game. <laughs> huh? cool. That's a cool puzzle. Right now, you, you down for some radioactive <laughs> fox and geese? We play with some high stakes. It's shotgun games. roulette. Now you're talking. Have a seat. Ready? All right. What would happen to Nancy if she ate? I'm that? going to replace the fox with my pig again. She would Go right gain ahead. superpowers. All right, so no, we need to get fun. we need to get one win in this quadrant and one win in this quadrant. Sounds like a you problem. Yeah, I'm detecting that it's gonna be that. <laughs> Let's see how many geese I can allocate from the top part down here. Um, geese allocation. I'm gonna have to shut that shit down. Never mind. So that's gonna be a reset. <laughs> Can't we start over? I just have to make sure that I'm setting up my geese to be invulnerable. No, when you have to make them vulnerable. Well, there's a way to chase him while not being vulnerable. Coming for you, Mr. Fox. I think I might be understanding the true Christmas spirit of enjoying fox and geese finally. Alright, you were close. Go chase him, Julian. Show me your goose hurting strategies. <laughs> Boom. He's like, whoa, why are they coming near me? This isn't right. He's witnessing an anomaly. It's like, whoa, they're coming near me. What's going on here? Yeah, he loves setting up the triples. I gave him another- Oh! Oh! <laughs> I wonder if it's possible for him to kill the whole board. <laughs> All right. I just gave him a five piece. Here's how we do it. We're gonna take him on this side this time. No, I've got to completely shut down any chance of a There, he's going. trapped. No, he's not, because if I did this, he would just whoop right over it. He's making this really easy. This is good RNG. He's literally like the predator. He's watching Arnold's cave at the end, just like, Come on, kill me, I'm here, do it! He's I can make it happen. I can make it happen. Okay, now we have to set some bait. There's his yummy bait right there. Mmm. Tasty Christmas goose. Take this bait. Take this bait, Bill. <gasps> You've you done fool. it. You fool. <laughs> that is a tough 
<laughs> Shit! <laughs> Just when he, he had this whole thing planned from the start! <laughs> I wanna make an H. The H is the perfect form of a travel today. Battle music, are you gonna be playing over this? <laughs> That's a good question. I'm just giving Sus Ohio NPC vibes. Okay, we're in formation. I need him to take this goose right here. Come on, pivot for me. Yes, pivot more. You're supposed to go up, Bill. Oh no, a goose straying from the pack. Okay, wait, maybe lock him in. No, 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 no. Like, he has to come this way. This is where the setup is. Now we're just gonna do this till he takes it. He took it! No, Jamie, why'd you do that? Because he just, he chose to escape. I just need him to take the delicious bait, the delicious morsel of bait right here. Okay, all I can do is hope that he's gonna move back in just a second. No, he didn't do it. Okay, awesome! Start over. I think the problem is that we've come on too strong in the past and we've intimidated him. Bill Kessler is remembering our previous playstyles. Yes, he was. Which is why we are now going to just go back and forth until he takes the bait. I don't think that's how it works. I it, think. Yes, it is. <laughs> Come on, blink. Blink, Bill. <laughs> Bill, your grandmother sold out your whole estate <laughs> to the TV, to the, as seen on TV channel. Your inheritance went to, like, jello slicers. She cared more about in the kitchen with David than you. <laughs> oh, that got his attention. Did you see that? I started throwing out violent words, like, in the kitchen with... And he took it. He took another one. <laughs> Wait, you win. Not quite. It's a coin toss, okay? I think I just need to back up and hope he goes in. That's what this comes down to. I'll do this. He, he you fucking idiot. You fucking goddamn fucker. Good job. <laughs> Get destroyed. No, he's oh, crying. He really he's got, crying right he really now. He really got to him with the comments okay, about his over. grandmother. Okay, okay. He's gonna come out okay, swinging with over. a vengeance. Next. The sacrificial goose <laughs> is going to get us all the way there. Okay, that's all it was. A goose came out and called Tilly Wentworth a bitch. His and then he went to jello cutters <laughs> and ice cube trays that were in the shapes of stars. No, you're powerless here. You have no power here. <laughs> Who will be my bait goose? It's gonna be you. That, that actually did not damage the. <laughs> All right. You think would win? Sacrificial goose, go! No, you're supposed to go right here. He didn't take the. He can't make bends. He can't make bends. That's a huge detail. Take it. And now, yes. Go back in. Go back to hell where you came from. Canadian walrus? E. Get oh destroyed! Oh. Oh. <laughs> red eyes. So we're done now. Should we should we do the wolf just to humiliate him? No. Okay, then we're done. Wow. That is the end game. You got any phone calls you want to make? You do them now. I can't believe it. We should call Chantal and tell her that this whole place needs a decontamination scrub. I don't know who we'd want to call. But yeah, we should probably let her know that there's probably Homeland activity. Security. Yeah. yeah. Tino, we have Tino. Okay, we can call Tino. I thought we did call him once and the vibes were pretty dead. Five three seven five. I think we can at least ask him about railroad code. Gosh, what a fun time watching you play that. <laughs> what you need? Yeah. Never mind. He hates us. I better go. Always a we can talk to Nedger. Okay, we should talk to Nedger. Hello. Me again. So how's it going? Bill Kessler is convinced that Chantal's father cheated his grandmother when she sold him the lodge, but Bill denies that he's been sabotaging the lodge to get back at him. As a construction guy, it's a sure bet he knows about explosives, though, right? Yes, but I think he's telling the truth. Not I mean, all construction guys are bombers. <laughs> yes, they place. are. He could have made something up. The fact that he told the truth, incriminating as it is, makes me think he's innocent. 
Or maybe he's just not good at making things up. So, Jamie, if this were real life, who would you be suspicious of? Who would I be suspicious of? What I can't figure out is who left those old photos of Bill Kessler for Definitely me Definitely the song. Fredonian National. <laughs> With the radio in his room. Yeah, they proved that Bill Kessler lied when he said this was his first visit to Icicle Creek Lodge. Turns out his grandmother used to own the place. So Not Lou. You to know that Kessler was lying? Lou. Actually, Lou Actually, is pretty Actually, right sus. after I found the pictures, the door closed behind me and I couldn't get out. If I hadn't managed to fill the pipes with cold water instead of hot, and if Bill Kessler hadn't finally opened the door, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Or any other, for that matter. Someone left incriminating pictures of Kessler. Oh no, are you okay, Nancy? <laughs> Looks like <that way. laughs> <laughs> He's so bored of Nancy being endangered. Why not just lure you down there, push you inside, then lock the door after you? Maybe someone left the pictures for me and someone else followed me downstairs and locked me in. Maybe the two are totally unrelated. That seems far-fetched. Kessler is the one who got you out. Pretty much lets him off the hook, huh? Not necessarily. Maybe Kessler opened the door only because he figured by then my goose had been cooked, as it were. <laughs> he did look pretty surprised when he saw me. <laughs> Enough with the goose mannerisms! <laughs> Darn sure. No more saunas for you. <laughs> Gotta go. I can't I'll think of any then. other goose the mannerisms besides got your goose got is it. cooked. Bye. <laughs> Okay, Wild gotta, goose chase. Yeah, gotta get the goose. I don't know. <laughs> we should just turn this into a goose. Let's play. Silly goose. <laughs> yeah. Kaylee calls me Gooseball. <laughs> Silly goose. <laughs> Wild goose chase. <laughs> okay, there are some good goose phrases. There are there. a lot of goose colloquialisms. <laughs> Goose is good. This is such a good one. <laughs> That's an S tier saying. I remember when I did the Her Interactive commercial, my jingle for White Wolf of Icicle Creek ended with a with a wolf, a bomber, and a saboteur on the loose to find out who is the fox and who <laughs> is the and then I just cut to the sauna door being like, why is this door locked too? <laughs> the Geiger counter doesn't go off here. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. That's flawed. <laughs> oh, now it does. Okay. Oh, well, it was 23 earlier. I'm just curious if we can beat that. Uh, you have to open these up now. Yeah, I know. So, the so are open. Moose. You need the moose and the rack. Gosh, here. this is insane. Forward, forward, right. Forward, left. Wait, forward, left. Left. Is it forward, left? Forward, left, and left. This Right paw. Oh my god, stop! Cease your yammering! <laughs> Forward, left, left, right paw. Cease your yammering. Cease your <laughs> This road! I can smell it with my eyeballs! <laughs> Dude, did you see that they re I told you, but they re-released Slender the Arrival. We should play that. N maybe, like, not even on the channel. I just, that's such Hold a... Hold on, Jamie. A Pivotal gameplay is unfolding. <laughs> Explain that. Maybe it's forward paw? I guess. Why would it be forward paw? I don't know. Clearly the wolf had a hissy fit about it. Forward, left, left, right, forward paw. That way it's six commands. We only gave him five. Forward. Left. Left, left. Left. Right. Right. Forward paw. Forward. Paw. Go! Isis. Forward. Left. Left. Right. Forward. Paw. How go. realistic is this that a dog will remember those commands? A dog they... could do this on his own. Like, I don't know. Nowadays, we just have a remote controlled dog get him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you stupid? Okay, maybe we're overshooting it. It's forward, left, left. There's no need to do a right. He just goes forward on his own. Okay, I had thought that. Yeah. Forward, left, left, forward, paw, maybe? Forward, left, left. Or just paw. Paw. It might be that. Isis. Where's forward, Ma, Isis? Left, left, paw, <laughs> go. Isis killed Ma. <laughs>
There yeah. you go. And now we gotta do raccoon, which is pretty straightforward. Forward, right, jump, jump, left, oh. paw. Forward, right, jump, left, paw. Forward, right, jump, left, paw. Forward, left. Good job, animal. Right, jump. Forward, right, jump. jump. Left, paw. Left, paw. Isis. Forward, Forward right, right, jump. jump left, left, paw. Go. I forgot to go. How old is Isis? I don't know. If we examine the dates in Julius McQuaid's diary, she can't be that old because he found her when she was a pup. Oh, we have to specify forward because there's an intersection before the jump. So it's forward, right, forward, jump, left, paw. Forward, forward, right, right, forward, forward, jump, jump, left, left, paw, paw. Isis, forward, forward, right. 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 Forward, jump, left, paw, go. Come on, Isis. I believe in you. Yes. No sound effects with this puzzle is so weird. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah! All right, the gate is open. Now we just gotta go. Should gate we open? open? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Not Jojo. Prison realm. Gate <laughs> open. <laughs> yeah, hey, this is one of the demon dogs. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's a Shikigami. It's Julius McQuaid's Shikigami. <laughs> okay. I can't believe how poorly this game gave you the Geiger counter. Just the yeah. dog happened to be chewing on it and left it underneath the table that you've already checked once. That's perfectly sound. Oh my gosh. Alright, Julian, your last guess. Who's the culprit of this game? Who did it? Okay. Was it Chantel Moik? I would... Say it's 50 50 between a Lou and Yanni here. If I didn't know, mm hmm. Where's oh. your evidence against Yanni? Just because he's Eastern European, you're just profiling him? No, Jameson. Alright, well, if the culprit ends up being Yanni, then a you're racist. Sussy Baka. So what, I can do this now? A black snowmobiling outfit, and it's missing a piece of material. I'd sure like to know who this belongs to. Another animation. That's Lou's backpack. I you recognize that Brea. you see Brea's backpack anywhere. To Lou. Wow, you've never seen oh it. Oh my gosh, it's full of explosives. Jesus Lou Christ! <laughs> been making those craters. He lied to oh my me. God. He has been looking for dinosaur bones. That is crazy. And, and Crandall's mayonnaise! Expiration date August of 1989! <laughs> Holy shit, that mayonnaise is more dangerous than the explosives! The Geiger counter's off the charts! Hello? Is someone in here? You should have the Geiger counter on in here. I should have. Pull it out. Damn it, I can't now! Hey, I can't exit Nancy? out of this! Why are you so it's short, Yanni? Yanni? What are you doing here? I was skiing, but when I passed the needle, I saw that there was a door in it. A door which was open. So I took off my skis to look, and now I am here. What is this place? Sure. All Actually, I know maybe is, I, I found a bag, Lou Talbot's He's bag, and it's so full of explosives. Lou is the one who has been blowing up things. He is the bomber. That's a He's good animation. He's been excavating yeah. dinosaur bones. What he was he pointing at? responsible for a lot of the others. <laughs> what was he pointing at? Around here too. <laughs> you must stay here and guard the bag. I will ski back to the lodge very quickly and tell the handyman to call the authorities. Do you believe him? Then I will yes. return. You I... will be safe? Perhaps I should stay. I trust you with my life, no, Yanni. No, you go. I'll be fine. I will hurry. Looks like Yanni dropped something. Damn. It's that thing he's always wearing on his arm. Next hey, blast Yanni, in. You dropped something. Yanni? <sighs> <sighs> She's got a glove from that snowmobiling suit Lou left behind. Wait a minute. 
What she just did means the scent on that glove and the scent on that thing Yanni dropped are the same. Which means a person who's been wearing that snowmobiling suit and blowing Explodes things up right now. is Yanni. <laughs> Geophone data, uranium? Oh my gosh, he set the timer. It looks like he's about to blow up the needle. Oh Isaac, my, we've he's gonna kill us! us. He's gonna... <laughs> oh my god, that's insane. I don't remember any of that. That was crazy. That's like a movie. Nancy! Oh my god. There's still no agreement. <laughs> Bro, that was crazy attempted murder. Yeah. I can't believe- I am so shook. What in blazes happened uh, here? What? Oh, he's here? I need to borrow your snowmobile. I'll explain later. He didn't say anything. You just <laughs> took it. Can we leave him stranded and he dies from hypothermia? Oh my god. Get out of Julian! <laughs> this is gonna be hard on senior, I think. Yeah. I love Broadside him. his ass. We look like two ants. Yeah. Nano bucks. Shout out Ollie for the uber quick response. Oh my god. Oh! Flex on him with a quick 360. That was really tight. Oh no! Oh! Why do you keep raising the sensitivity? I lower it for you. <laughs> Jamie! <laughs> Your sensitivity is outrageous. There's a button on the mouse that raises and lowers it, and you keep on hitting it. <laughs> no, you do that. This is, oh, this chase is so much better than an old clock. Yeah. This is so long. Oh my gosh. Oh, now I'm getting Discord pings right at the clock. He just went through a tree! I know. He's clipping through space and time. Do we have a gun or something to shoot him? We have a bullet! Use the bullet, Julian! <laughs> Use the bullet! Okay, I am right on his tail. He's trying to juke me out. Yeah, he's trying to spin you out. Oh, jeez. Can we add Yanni to Dead by Daylight? <laughs> I'm pretty much ahead of him. He's panicking. He is panicking. Nancy, get the gun! I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Dude didn't even hit anything. <laughs> I feel like I was right at the end of that chase too. <laughs> oh my god, that's insane. He gets to go through trees and rocks and I just... You explode when you hit a snowdrift. This chase is, is, is excessively long. <laughs> you hit him with a blue shell. I know, I need to be doing that. Or, or a red shell. Or... He's like got this entire chase with the star on. What was that oh. speed boost he just got? Oh my god! He just tried to cut you off. I've never been so locked in in an anti Drew game. Watch out for his brake check. This is so freaking intense. Why is his snowmobile bugging out? You see that? Yeah, I know. It's all jittery. Okay, the course has been forgiving lately. It's mellowed out a lot, but... Right when you get on his ass is when he starts oh to panic. God. The closer you get, the more wily he becomes. Watch out. You Dude! did not hit that! You did not hit that! Oh my god! That was the craziest turn in the course. Dude. How has he not hit anything? He's violating so many OSHA things right now. Is this chase like the longest chase in Nancy's history? It's gotta end when the song does here. I 
I am so shook. I'm gonna be here for all, all day. The stone! Oh, thank god. Oh my god. He just oh, died! No. Yeah, he's dead. Yanni, you alright? Nope. No, he's done. Yikes. His goose is cooked. <laughs> Silly goose. Lying there in that the was snow, something of a wild goose chase. Yanni owned up to everything. He tainted the potato salad with bad mayonnaise, he iced down the back That's stairs, he opened a gas valve in the sauna, he blew up the bunkhouse using the clock he took from Guadalupe's room, and he left those pictures of Bill Kessler from Most the evil sauna. culprit ever? <laughs> in order to cast suspicion on someone He didn't try to explode us. We need to revisit him, he's a great culprit. Why? Because it turns out that he was actually spying for the government of Fredonia, which had sent him to Canada. Their to flag is the Ukrainian the flag with a snowflake on it. <laughs> mind what he did and back to what they plan to do with it then? Oh my God! How did I never catch? He's literally wearing a Ukrainian ski outfit. He really was the best cross-country skier in the world. Unfortunately, he'll never get a chance to prove that now. Wild. Chantal has barely been off the phone since she got back to the lodge. It seems that Yanni shenanigans made the nightly news, not just in Canada, but in the States. Ooh. And as a result, news. people have been booking That's stays Who's right watching the news at 11 p.m.? When I told her and Ollie how Mama's. ISIS had helped me, they were truly amazed. Hopefully, from now on, Ollie will think twice about pulling out his rifle every this time. This is blatant anti Ollie That's slander. For ISIS, Guadalupe <laughs> called me that very night and told me she'd found a wolf sanctuary that could take her. I could tell from the way the volunteers from the sanctuary treated her when they came to get her that she'll be in good hands at her new home. Maybe but they'll let still, her have 30 frames per second. Through no fault of her own, <laughs> she can never run free again. They I said will miss Isis. That she She's might someday cute. be released back into the wild, but not very likely. Hmm. I'm going to keep my fingers <laughs> crossed anyway. That's not a good picture. That's a good picture. You better nail this trivia right now. Hey, sassy detective. Oh, Congratulations on cracking the case. You've been awarded the title of Learned Links Learned for links. incredible research skills. We didn't get a trivia. But we get the teaser for the best game ever! <laughs> this one looks so weird. Ghost Dogs? Ghost Dogs? I didn't game, know 17. game 17. Jesse, we head to New Orleans for a short vacation. I thought it was a great idea. Pocket the French Art. Quarter, fantastic food, awesome music, friendly people. But all it took Friendly was one people? little side trip to check on a friend of Ned's, and suddenly everything got very strange. Daytime art. A recent death, a musty old mansion, it's a, second a disturbingly floor balcony. odd Thornton curio Hall. shop, a garden where only secrets seemed to grow, and something as ancient as it was terrifying. Join me on my next <laughs> adventure, Legend of the Crystal Skull. <laughs> Isn't it so funny to garden. see how the concept art for that game changed from what it ended up being? Yeah, but I was still, like, really intrigued from that. Yeah. Well, I had a lot of fun playing that. Robert Riddell, you're a Giga Chad. To be honest, that was very fun. That was a... Frustrating at times, very confusing at times, but I... a great experience. That must be maybe but... one of the worst Nancy Drew games to play blind, but one of the most fun to replay. It was, I, yeah. And, well, it was half replay for me, half blind, essentially. Yeah. Which made it all the more fun. <laughs> Uh, um, my favorite part was just sequence breaking and frustrating Jamie the entire time. <laughs> well, there was so many, so much side content that I'd never seen. Gaslighting him about Guadalupe. And we still have the Geiger counter on in the credits. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna see if anyone what if in the credits is radioactive. <laughs> yes, Penny Milliken's name comes on screen. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, I I would give that a solid teetering A minus B plus type of range. It's a damn good game. Uh, if S is still the top, I think it's definitely A. It's not perfect. Uh, I honestly think that Yanni Vokstaya might be one of the most well-hidden culprits ever. Dude, the, the ending was great. Yeah, he's a very cleverly disguised culprit. He has great answers to every question. He's just well-written mm -hmm. in general. He was really well. I would like to see how it plays out when you just never talk to him. Yeah. Like, you, like... Because it's possible, yeah, right? Yeah, it's possible. You have to really go out of your way to do it. That, um, that's just so funny to me. Yeah. But, no, I, I really liked it. One thing I, I wish we got to do was, like, be able to walk around and explore in that room. You know, once we opened that final door, mm -hmm. it just shot us into an animation. 
I think it would have been nice if there was a little bit of exploring. Excuse but... me. That's what happens when I drink a full can of ghost energy and play Nancy Drew. No. Very much liked it. Hmm? I'm getting a call. He's getting a phone call. On a second. Typical Julian things these days. All right, Julian's manager at McDonald's just got off the phone with him. <laughs> uh, I do not work at McDonald's. Okay, and he, no, no disrespect to anyone who does work at the McDonald's. My mom worked at McDonald's, and that was that was her first job. And I worked at an ice cream parlor that paid worse than McDonald's. Anyhow, <laughs> <laughs> so this is this concludes our Wolf Let's Play. Um, gosh, I think there's less than ten games we haven't done a playthrough of left. As you guys know, Julian it, is leaving the nest. He's it's harder to find time to record these with him, but I always look forward to it. Yeah, whenever I do have the opportunity in the free time, I immediately call Jamie up and I say, Nancy Drew walkthrough. And then it's usually the first thing I want to do. And I have an inkling for the next game I want to play. Oh, so. do you want to share that with the class? Or, because I don't know what you want to play. It is summary. It's summary. So that yes. doesn't mean Castle Malloy. Sorry, JK. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't know. All right, well, anyhow, a summary game for summary time. I'm looking forward to it. In the meantime, uh, Kaylee and I, are, I swear, we're going to finish Sea of Darkness someday. No, they won't. Yeah, we probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I had a fun time with this one. This game has been long overdue for a good sit-down Let's Play. And don't forget to vote for Holt. Vote for Holt!